Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to show you how to get a character to move across the scene in Toonley. So that's what we're going to put on the uh, title of this new um, project I'm going to start. Just give me time to just uh, type it in. And then I'm going to create it. Just give me a second. Okay, right, let's see. We need a new uh, scene. Uh, let's try a construction site, I think. This is somewhere down here. Yep, that'll do. And now we need some hard hat characters. So let's have a look at them. See if we can find them somewhere down here. Might need just two of them and maybe a character without a hat as well. There they are. Right, and that, I think that boy there. Yep, that will do. Right, so there are our characters. I just uh, adjust them according to where I want to put them at the moment. And I'm going to extend the scene length and everything. So, right. And we're going to start by um, changing all the bounce to instance and on the settings as well change that to instant on rather than have it bouncing on the screen because we don't need that and I'm going to start with a boy really uh, to try and get his um, animation worked first because I want him to walk in across from right to left so just make sure he's the right way as well by um, checking his flip on the uh, next to the settings on the um, character itself and I'm going to drag his um, timeline across a bit um, just so it gives it more time for him to walk along now as you can see I just hit the front node there and then I'm going to put him off screen so that will be his first position and then I'm going to hit the end node and take him all the way across to the other side and that will be his end position so he should walk from the right to the left yep okay now the girl is the next one I'm going to do and I need to put a walk on and I'm going to walk from one one side halfway to the one way and then I'm going to have a stop and then maybe answer the phone and walk the other way so that's what we're going to do and what I've done is I've reduced the size of a timeline. I've clicked on a start position, which I moved it slightly to do that. And now I've just clicked on her end position for that first part of her walk. Now I'm going to put on pull, um, idle for a bit, then answer the phone. And when she's answered the phone, then she's going to have another walk on added onto as the last of uh, animations but we need a special trick here with this one so I'll just watch what I do here now I'm going to move the timeline needle all the way across to where the walk is for the new walk that she's got to have and I've got to change the click the flip over um, for her so that she goes the opposite direction right or you've got to make sure you do that in in on the right place. If you do it on the wrong place, you, it'll be moving be, moving the wrong way beforehand, right? So that was important. So now the gentleman uh, is left. And I'm going to have him off screen on the left hand side and walking across to the right. So the moment is the wrong way around. So I've got to flip him and click on his first now to take him off screen. Then flip his. Uh, then get to his uh, last node and take him all the way across the other side and hopefully that should work once I've done all that right 
and that's that. Okay, and Mark dragged that across all the way along, so it'll take him longer to get across. Right, and now we're going to just preview that and see how it goes. Right, hopefully it should be all right. Here we go. Yep, that looks okay so far. Pretty cool. He's gone off the screen. Yes, and she's walked back. Yeah, that's perfect. That's worked out just as I wanted it. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. And if you've got any questions, uh, please ask me anytime. All right, thank you very much, and goodbye.